Hey everyone, welcome back. And yeah, we're still in Dantooine, and we're just outside the Ebonhawk. Last time we went to the Jedi Ruins and discovered that there was this thing called a star map there. And it led to all these other sorts of planets that also have star maps. So Jedi Council said, hey, go go find these star maps. And that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and get on the Ebonhawk and proceed to do that. Why is my frame rate only half what it should be? Hold on, guys. Oh, okay. Alright, well, it's fixed now. For some reason, it was only reporting at half the frame rate it was supposed to be, so whatever. Oh, workbench. Cool. Let's go ahead and use that. Oh, yeah, he has a. Uh, this thing can be upgraded. Completely forgot about that. Go ahead and do that. We will upgrade Bastila's lightsaber. Not our own, because we don't use lightsabers. Ooh, attack and damage. Well, that has a chance for stun. That'd be useful for my guy. Yeah, let's put a Bondar crystal in there. Get that uh, stun chance. difference between these. Oh, this does more more energy damage, but this, this just does this regular damage. Oh, whatever. There we go. Now Bastila has a better lightsaber. Excellent. Go ahead and upgrade this. We need to mind affecting. That's, that'll be useful in case we come across any dark Jedi. Defense bonus. Good, good. Do we get any melee weapons? I mean, melee upgrades? That's already fully upgraded. Nope. Okay. That's about as upgraded as anybody can get. Let's actually uh, explore our new ship. We never really got the chance to. There's our nice little swoop racer. That's cool. So in case we come across any swoop tracks across the galaxy, we can just, you know, wheel out this thing and, you know, have go at it. So I guess this is like the cargo bay? It makes sense. Okay. And here would be... Okay, this is the engine room. Like, the, the big two circular engines on the back. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know, maybe it's like the hyperdrive. That's what I'm guessing. Makes sense for it to be like close by the engines. What's this? Oh, supplies. Okay, so this is like our, our supply area. What's this? Yep, store of emergency, emergency food and supplies. Ooh, we can loot our... We can loot ourselves. Nice. Oh, well. Except nothing... None of these have anything in them. Maybe they're for storage? I'm just gonna check them to make sure. Oh, what's this? Compartment? No proper codes, you'll not be able to open it. No problem. Didn't work. Ah, damn. Alright, well... Okay. Well, unfortunately, the previous owner is dead, so... Not exactly sure if we're ever going to be able to open that. Okay, we got some bunks over here. Cool. IT3. Got like the central command room here, apparently. How you doing, T3? Beep boop boop boop. Is that right? Oh yeah, you can get a program programming spikes from uh, from T3. Oh, negatory. Beep frauds. Do you have anything, like, special to say? I want to ask some questions. You didn't even know what I was going to ask. Oh, well, apparently T3's, a, like, an asshole. And doesn't want to talk to us. Hi, Zelbar. 
Oh, you can get grenades from Zalbar. One grenade? Why don't you make another grenade? Oh, come on. Alright, whatever. I want to know a little bit more about you, Zalbar. Wait. You don't trust me? That's oh, because I'm a different species, isn't it? You know what, you won't have to tell me eventually. You know, we're buddies. Alright, dick. Maybe we'll talk later. Oh, Johnny. What the heck is this room? Is this like a closet? You, need, you really need to come out of the closet, Johanny. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before. Yeah, the way you tried to cut me in half. It was wrong of me. Damn right. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes. And in my own. You're gonna take a lot for that to happen. Eh. Now I'll be I'll be a Jedi about it. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, even though I tried to take your life. I can only hope that in our time journeying together I will succeed. Yeah, no problem, dear honey. Uh, anything else about this ship? What's over here? Hi, mission. You can't just take three beds all yourself, mission. Hey there. Hog. What can I do for you? Hey, do you have anything? Let's get a security spike. No problem. Just so happens I've got one here I've been working on. Here you go. I'll just add it to our inventory. Anything else you need? You got any more security spikes? What about another one? Yeah, I guess like there's like a cap at which they they say, "Sorry, I can't give you any more." And apparently, I've been running out of security spikes. <laughs> That's five she give she's given me. Six. Seven. Sorry, okay. I don't have one handy right now. Besides, we've got plenty of security spikes already. Not much point in overloading on them, is there? Well, you never know when we're gonna like run into seven different doors hey there. that need security okay. spikes or something. Uh, let's see. I want to talk to you about your brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Never mind then. Bye, Mission. Not you, Candors. You have anything? I'm just sort of like talking to all of my crew members because, you know, it's been a while since I've really gotten the chance to do that. Like, I've talked to them like previously yeah, on the planet, you but uh, you know, not not for long. Not for, I didn't really get to hear much. Uh, adrenal stimulants. <laughs> stimulants make a warrior out of even the weakest human. Here's a stamina boosting stimulant to help you get tougher. There anything else? I don't really use stamina boosting stimulants. Hey, don't worry. I think you've got enough there as it is. You don't want to overload yourself on stims. Otherwise, you might destroy your adrenal system. A real warrior knows his own limits and doesn't overestimate himself. Oh, okay. Is there anything else you need? Alright, well. You have any more war stories? I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I basilisk had. war droids? Except Mandalore himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. I would have hardened that power sooner. No, that's obviously dark side. What was your story? 
I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. I don't think Mandalorian's got afraid. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. The doors opened oh, up sure. front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop base, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged on my droid, I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. <laughs> you dropped? You dropped from orbit riding a droid? The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons, was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. <laughs> you sound, sound like a little too excited there, Candorous. I want a Basilisk Ward, Roy. Those things sound awesome. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? No, that's, that's fine. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. <laughs> well, at least he's confident in himself. If a little bit arrogant. But, you know, with a story like that, you know, I guess he has the, the right to be. All right. Who else do we have? Oh, well, control bay here. No one here, though. What about up here? Got oh, hi. Galaxy map. How are you doing this fine this fine day? I want to leave Antoine and use the galaxy map. Yeah, I know, I know. What about you, Karth? Yes. What's on your mind? I want to know what's on your mind. Sorry, there's something on my mouse. I've been very quiet lately. You know that? Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. You know, I'm... <laughs> oh, poor baby. I'm not the one leaving you out of the loop, Karth. No? Well, you certainly aren't helping matters any either. And it's really starting to... I just got you. here, dude. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. I'm rather curious to know what went on, and why they didn't keep you on Dantooine for training. Isn't that strange? Yeah, I, I guess it's a little strange that they're sending a couple of Padawans on this dangerous mission, and not one of the Masters. Then they thought it was more important that I help find the star maps and stay. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us, don't they? Don't they have to train you? He said there's a bond between Basila and myself. A bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Basila in some way? <laughs> I have trouble believing that. What do you know about Your the Force, Karth? Padawan has been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but... Give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. Well, maybe I don't know the reason, Karth. I'm just as much in the dark as you. Are you saying I'm not needed? No, I don't... I didn't mean that you weren't wanted, or that I want to go. It's just... <laughs> damn it. Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. Um... Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna betray you, Karth. Yeah, we'll just see about that, will we? Look, I didn't mean it that way. I wanna get to Saul, not No, no, 
forget. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's let's just get on with what we were doing. You know, when you're kind of being a bitch, yeah. That's all you can do is insult me. Saying I'm going to betray you when you have absolutely no proof. How can I help? Hi, Bastila. I want to talk about that. Wait, you have something you wanted to ask me? I do. How did you know? <laughs> well, your face is all scrunched up like a Kinrath pup. Um, Kinraths don't have faces. They have arms for faces. Whatever. A, a Kinrath pup. It most certainly is not. I <laughs> oh, of course not. Remember? I have far too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. Oh, of course. My remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I, I mean, whatever I feel... I mean, whatever I think about you. You're so cute when you're embarrassed. I... that is you... Why must you be so impossibly infuriating? You know very well what I am really talking about. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. <laughs> oh, of Our course. ...allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels. And what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. You know what, I'm Han Solo. I can handle it. You can warn me why I do something bad. Blink once for dark side, twice for light. This is not a joke. The choices you make could affect both our destinies. Not to mention the fate of the Republic and the entire galaxy. There is much at stake. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. Why are you getting so upset? I'm sorry if I come across as harsh, but I am concerned for you, for our mission, and for myself as well. Our destinies oh, are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. Wait, so you're just worried about yourself then? It is not true. I am worried about myself, but also about you. I would rather see neither of us come to any harm. Oh, okay. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. All right. Well, yeah, that sounds good to me. I hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. I mean, up to this point, you haven't really been wise. You've kind of been like an arrogant bitch, but you know, I'll accept whatever help you can provide. If, even if it's not at all. Okay, let's see. Alright, at this point we can, uh, go to one of, like, five different planets. We can go, like, what, Manan, Tatooine, Korban, Kashyyyk, and Yavin. Yavin's just, like, an extra planet. It's not, like, one of our required planets. It's, like, you can go there and there's, like, special shops there. So... I think first off, like, for the story quests, we're gonna go to Kashyyyk. I kinda wanted to go to Tatooine, cause, you know, it's a cool place. You know, who doesn't want to go to Tatooine when they're, uh, playing Star Wars game? But, you know, there's someone on Kashyyyk I want to meet. Someone who, uh, who will make my quest easier, I suppose. Someone I want to talk to. Then it'll be cool to see, uh, Zelbar's homeworld. Of course. You know, maybe we can, uh, bring him out and, you know, he'll tell us about his home planet. Since, since otherwise he'd been, like, an obstinate mule, and decide not to tell us anything. Oh, what's this?
Lord Malik, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Bastila and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Karth Onasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. Oh, what? How'd you survive, Hello, dude? Lord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kahlo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very... <laughs> Look how short he is. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kahlo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive. Lord Malak, forgive me, there is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karath. I promise you will be very interested in what Kahlo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. Hmm. <laughs> what was the point of that cutscene? It's just a two second cutscene of it just flying through space? What's the point? Oh, okay. So I'm like getting a vision of where the star map is. It's okay guys, I know where it is. It's by a tree. Gonna start talking, Basla. Okay, there you go. Vision, like the one we shared on Dantooine. She like had Did a brain fart it? or something. Of course, you must have. The Force is strong with us both. Kashyyyk is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. Do you think the Wookies are involved? The Wookies of Kashyyyk make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only the bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. All right. The star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest. It's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Okay, so you know, we have like an entire planet of uh, trees to explore. You know, like an entire planet of the uh, the undergrowth. Oh really? Have you been eating all our supplies, Zalbar? You know, I know I know about your hunger problems. Not right. What do you mean? I think it was T3. He's always quiet about everything. He never wants to talk. Eating, eating all our food. Little bastard. Alright, so, uh, let's check the stores. Okay. 